Hey, hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, we're gonna be figuring out where they move the Facebook Pixel to once you've already created it. I've already done a video on creating your Facebook Pixel. If that's what you're looking to do, go back to my uh, YouTube page and search for it. It's right in there. If this is the first time we're meeting, my name is John Kinnanen. I'm a digital marketer and I'm a real estate agent licensed in the state of Florida and in the state of Michigan as well. If you're interested looking or looking for somebody to run your ads for you. Uh, schedule some time with our ad agency. There's a link in the description below and we'd be happy to discuss uh, how we can partner together. So without further ado, what you do is you go to facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash manager. It will take you right to this page. It looks very similar to this where we've been going through and we've been practicing setting up uh, ads if you've been following along. But today we're gonna to figure out where they've moved the Facebook pixel to. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on all tools up here at the top. And as you can see, there is nothing in here that has to do with your pixel. Nothing in here says uh, pixel, right? Um, business settings, that is something that we just did a video on yesterday. Um, that's where you go to verify your domain with Facebook so that it's part of the new iOS uh, 14 update uh, and all the stuff that's going on with Apple but if you go there or if you go back look in my look on my YouTube page you'll see how to do that you'll actually probably see that on here there will be a little exclamation point that still says it needs to be verified because it takes up to 72 hours or something to um, register anyways so what you do is you'll go to say this is the Facebook pixel that you're trying to figure out where the heck it is you know you want to install it on a different website You've already gone through, you've created it. Now you want to figure out where is it. Um, part of this new update in 2021 is they've moved it. You know, you used to be able to find it. It was pretty easy. It was someplace in here. Um, you could find, figure out where it is. You know, it's not over here. We've already looked in here. There's nothing in here about it. Uh, but if you just come here, you go to add events. You go to from a new website click on install code manually it's going to take you over to here and what you do is you just copy this code right here so you copy this code um, just hit the copy button here and then you can just hit continue go through all of this you can open up your setup uh, event setup tool if you'd like to set up an event on your page if you've already if you already have that on there um, already have your your hey I want to talk to you about a very important feature here on YouTube it's that like button down in the corner please consider liking this video and put in the comments below what you've learned I'd greatly appreciate it code on there you can go ahead and do that once you do that then you can uh, go over to your page um, if you're if you have KB core like we do at our brokerage uh, you go ahead and you install this code personally. You just log into KB Core, you scroll down to where it says header, and then you paste this code in there. Um, but some people may have an IT person. If you have an IT person, you go ahead, you send this code off to them, and they'll take care of it from there. Or if you're using like Real Geeks or um, Sierra Interactive, you even do it yourself with Sierra Interactive. But if you have real geeks, you may have to uh, email it off to you. I know a lot of our students, some uh, have the real geeks <clears throat> platform, so they have to email it off to them. And then once you get it installed, if you're like, man, how do I even know I installed it? How do I know, even know if it's working? You can go and you can download this Facebook Pixel Helper. I've already got it installed on my Chrome. Um, so that then when you go to a website, say I go to the website that has this installed on it um, you're gonna see at the top here that that lights up in blue and it tells me all the Facebook pixels that I have on here so actually it says there's four of them on here uh, let's see it does look like there are four different uh, pixel codes on here one is uh, probably exp themselves probably has one on here um, for their own data collection. Anyways, hopefully this video was helpful to you. I have been getting some questions on where do, where do you find the Facebook Pixel once you've already in, you created it. If you don't know how to create it, go back to my channel. Um, there is a, a uh, video on creating that. I would highly suggest taking a look at 
the video popping up in the right hand corner on Google Ads, how to set, how to set up your Google Ad, doing a whole tutorial on it. I walk you through A to Z on that. And there is also a few other videos, definitely highly suggest watching them because all they're doing is they're gonna help you grow your business through digital marketing. And if that's something that's of interest to you, highly suggest subscribing to my channel. Talk to you guys later. Remember though, when you generate a lead, that's not the end of the story. You have to have a strong follow-up system, drip campaign to follow up and nurture these leads because if you're doing all these things that I'm telling you to do in these videos, I have no doubt in my mind that you are generating tons and tons of leads every single day. And if you don't have something set up on the back end to handle this, this influx of all these new leads coming in, you're gonna lose out. So I highly suggest definitely having some kind of drip campaign that is very powerful with that has text messages, emails, um, voicemail drops, and phone calls. Phone calls are very important. Um, talk to you guys later. Happy lead generating.